Hey guys, welcome to this oh, unboxing of the Barracuda Aventura Robot Cleaner. Oh boy, well, that's a bit dirty. Now you might be thinking, why on earth have you got another robot cleaner? Well, let me tell you something guys, well we have had the predecessor at Barracuda Robot Cleaner and well I've had it the past two or three years now and yes it does work well however there are some things that just annoy me so much and one of those is that the t the, k the cord always gets tangled upon itself so it ends up in a massive spinneroony and you just can't get a good enough length for the pool job so I'm hoping that this guy is going to do a better job so it says that it has got a swivel cable for less cable tangling that is literally the only reason we got this robot cleaner because we don't want any more tangling of the cables but what else do they have it's got the all terrain cleaner which is so important so we've got a pebble uh pool and so i guess this is useful for that but also can be used for fiberglass pools and so on it's also got a patented cyclonic suction oh my goodness me i cannot wait to see that suction power and what else has it got? It's got easy removal, it's got clean floor and walls, and it's got an easy carry basket. All of these things are so important. Being able to clean your walls and your floor is so important, and being able to clean the actual device itself is super important too. Now you can see the pool behind me is in a bit of a situation. There is duck poo everywhere because ducks, quite frankly, like our pool for some reason. And the pool itself is looking a bit green, cloudy. So let's unbox this baby and see what's in store. <laughs> So we can see here that it's very similar to its predecessor. It's got an on and off button. It's got a lift system, which is new actually. That'll be interesting to see. And it's got some little decals here. If you want to do the floors or the walls, if you want to do both, you can do both. Oh, it's huge. Much bigger than its predecessor. So we've got a super long cable, which is so important for people who've got really long pools like myself, which is about 11 meters. Can't wait to plug that in and see how it fares, given that it's now swivel free. It does come with some instructions, which I'll be taking a quick look at. And it's got a full warranty, which is actually three years for this device, which is pretty cool. Connect the floating cable. Oh, let's do the caddy first. And then feed it through. And it goes in a lot easier, making sure that on this side, on the top, you've got the area that's got the opening. Once you're through, then you can put back the plastic nib, I guess. Ta -da! Then you want to feed this in through to keep it nice and tight and secure. And then secure the top like so. Then we go turn it around and then we've got to just put in some support brackets onto this area over here. Now it does come with two already in the box for you, so you just clip it on. Let's grab the wheels and put them like this. And actually what you'll notice is that it does have another safety latch on this side over here, as well as a bolt on the other side. So the bolt goes in through the wheel, voila, into like so, and then once you've got it through inside, then you want to just use your remaining safety caps to keep the wheel in place with the bolt. And uh, I've got to say, setup is very easy so far. Next up, you want to put in this guy, which is basically going to carry your robot's uh, cabling. So let's pop it inside like this and let it click. Then next up you want to secure it using this over here and it tells you very handily that up is in this position and you want to just click it into place. Voila! Voila, it is ready and raring for you to go. So next up though, however, before you get going with that is it does have an area on this side which is your port that does the electricity. So you can unscrew this, which is actually really useful because the previous one didn't have this. So when you're not using it, you can Put it back on together again and it's water sealed whereas previously it didn't have that so i'm going to be doing that in just a moment but essentially what you want to do is when you are ready to use your robot you screw it into place first of all you align the pins and then you just so take a look at the actual device itself so it's pretty heavy it's pretty big but i feel like it's going to do some real damage so in a good way okay so you press down on the button over here to release the lid take off the plastic oh this is a huge canister Wowzers, that is massive. I gotta say, that is absolutely humongous. So, the trick is when you are putting this back on, is to look at the back, and actually, these two need to clip into each other. So, that's just over here. So, these two need to go into each other, like so, and then you clip it in, and it fits in a lot nicer. And then you just seamlessly put it inside, close the box. I think, without further ado, we're pretty much done. So, we're gonna just un unravel it all, plug it in, and chuck it into the pool, and give it a few hours and see how it goes. Let's do it.
so it's been a little while and now the pool robot is done i've got to say the pool still looks pretty murky as you can see now i don't think that's necessarily the fault of the pool i actually just think we need to put some clarifier or some flock in it because what happened yesterday is i decided to give it a good brush and so a lot of the debris came off from the walls so let's just open this up and see how he looks like from the inside but one thing i am excited about is that it has got a lift function so i'm just going to go over press the lift button and hopefully be able to get it from over there let's go So I pressed the lift button and it's actually ended up in the middle of the pool. Well, not quite the middle, but it's right on the edge there. I don't really fancy putting my hand in the water, so I'm going to press the lift button again and see if it comes any closer. Um. All right, so let's just pop it open and see what's inside. Oh boy, well, that's a bit dirty, but yeah, there we have it. So there's some sludge right there. You can see it's even picked up a twig as well. So some really big debris. So one of the cool features actually I want to show you, if you look, look at that, it's got a red indicator right there. That means that the canister is full. Right, so it's a bunch of gunk in there. All right, so we ran it a couple of times in the pool. It's actually looking bluer, so that's good. Oh boy, well, that's a bit dirty, 